Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Elden Ring. This time I'm going to show you how to get through Castle Soul. I had a viewer request a walkthrough for this area, and I'm happy to oblige since I need to record this section of my playthrough over again. I actually reverted my save back to an earlier state, because I messed up. Alright, so these guys, these lion guys, are weak to poison, which is very nice. So if you have any poison throwing knives, now is the time. And if you can even, no, oh, I was going to say if you can craft them, that's really good too. I should say they're not really weak to poison, they're just susceptible to poison. Okay, so he's poisoned, which is helpful. There are two of these guys in here, however, um, only... I didn't attune the right spells. It's hard for me to remember what I have, what I don't have at this point in the game. Um, there are two of these guys in here. However, uh, the second one really only shows up later. It's to the right. If you get in its face, it'll aggro, but... Um, it comes in at half health, which is nice. Okay, so... Unfortunately, these lions can breathe ice... And so, if you step in that, you take a bunch of damage really fast, and then, of course, it builds frostbite. So, you have to be very careful. Oh, dear God. This is going to be the longest, most boring part of the walkthrough, is, is this. Oh, is that pixels away there? Come on. Oh, my God. This is incredible. I think the second one just woke up. I heard it roar. Really? I shouldn't I should not have gone in for that hit. That was a mistake. Alright, so there's the second one. Like I said, these are kill once enemies, so you don't have to do this multiple times. Come on, Frostbite. I really hate that that frozen air. It's... Oh, here he comes. Now, what you really gotta watch out for is when both of them show up. Because... Oh, dude, come on. That can happen pretty easily. What I should do is I should just cast Poison Mist in the doorway. Problem is, the incantation takes a while. Let's get nice and thick up in the doorway. Probably need one more cast. That'll be good. Oh, oh no, 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 no. No, thank you. Okay. Well. Hey, they're both poisoned now. That's great news. We actually have a shot at doing this now. So, in in the interest of making this go faster, I am going to go back after them. I really only need to get one R2 on the second one, and then he's dead. Or on this one right here, and then he's dead. But, of course, the other one's coming right back for, for more fun. Alright, yep. Come on. Oh my god. This is the worst part of this whole endeavor, is is these guys right here. Everything else is very manageable. I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's very manageable. It's very clear what you're supposed to do. But these guys are just the worst. Yep. I love how they run away from projectiles, even though they stand there the whole time. They are smart. I mean, you can't say they're dumb. This guy's going to die from taking poison. I feel like... It, I'm so ashamed that that's my strategy, but... They are the worst. You can also uh, build pod projectiles and chuck them at them. That works as well. You know what? Let's just make this... 
a bit safer here. Oh, God. I was saying... Jesus. I, I need to hit you one time, bro. Can I get one hit on you, please? Wonderful. Thank you. All right. So you get uh, level 7 Somber Smithing Stone, which is quite nice. Oh, my God. The Frostbite damage. Why did I press R1 there? There we go. Okay. Cool. So you get a decent amount of upgrade materials. After you kill them, you absolutely want to rest at this side of Grace to refill your flasks so you can get moving. Okay. Now you are all safe. I don't know why I did that. You can't mount up in here. Now you're all safe, safe. And uh, you can explore a bit. There's nothing over there. There is a corpse over here. I guess I should show you my stats. I haven't done any of these types of walkthroughs, really, for, for Elden Ring yet. Uh, so I am level 116, stacking Strength and Faith. And then I have the Grafted Blade Greatsword plus 9, Coated Sword plus 9, and the Lord Sworn's Straight Sword plus 22. So I have some options, and then, you know, the occasional incantation, but I generally do not take uh, FP potions, or Flask of Cerulean Tears. Okay. Um, so we're going to drop the Coded Sword because nothing here is weak to Holy, or Faith, I should say. Uh, and then we're going to swap out for a bow. All right, so you have this guy up here. If you remember the Falcons from Stormvale Castle that ex have exploding faces, then welcome back. Welcome back to this stage in history. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, these guys are just the worst. Cool, that's one. Oh, there's a treasure in here, I forgot. Alright. Go up here, and then we're going to take care of these dogs as best we can. I have a weird feeling there's another eagle somewhere, though. Yeah, I know where it is. I love knowing that timing. It feels so good to do that. Okay. Through this door, you'll see a painting. Uh, actually, I'll show you where to claim that painting prize. Um, okay. So we actually have a choice here. Let's think about how I want to do this first. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's, let's just take the most direct route, or rather the... The intended route. Let's take. Okay, so we're gonna come up here, and then there's gonna be uh, some phantom enemies that show up. Okay, and these guys may seem like no big deal, but they're oh god, oh boy. But there is a crossbow archer up top, and then if you were to get close to those stairs, then you would be greeted by a phantom. This this crossbow guy, he's, he's got to go. You'd be greeted by a phantom with two long swords, which, uh, oh, wow, nice shot, bro. Uh, which, you know, is just mildly terrifying. What I'm going to do, though, uh, never mind. I was going to try to rush the archer, but I, I don't think I have the space. Oh, he's just a single longsword guy. Okay. That's better. You still have to, you know, make sure you're dealing with the archer okay. You don't want to get hooked up by him. And the thing with these guys is you can't... I'm going to try to run away, but I know he's just going to get in my face. And just to be safe, I'm going to activate this side of grace. Just in case things go south. Now. <sighs> Are you running away? 
cool. All right. Very good. Let's get this treasure. Thank you. Okay, so we have the side of grace here. I'm not going to rest at it. Instead, we're going to keep going. <clears throat> Excuse me. This right here is a weapon, the Eclipse Chotel. That is one of the legendary armaments. So if you're trying to collect all of those, there is one. Oh, homeboy. All right. Things are about to get pretty hairy here. In a moment, a red-eye phantom is going to show up. Oh, he's right there, actually. All right, let's, let's do this first. Let's do this. Just because I hate this guy. Thank you. I, I really can't stand that guy. He's just always annoying. All right, great. Now that he's dead... Come down here. Grab a rune arc. Very helpful. Do love a rune arc. And now we're going to come in here, and there's going to be a whole family of rats. Oh, God. Oh, God. How, oh my god. How do rats always break your poise? Just, how? How does it happen? Why are they programmed this way? In every one of these games, they break your poise. They're the strongest enemy in the game. Granted, they, oh god, they do drop rune arcs, which uh, I think is funny because in Dark Souls they drop humanity and rune arcs effectively do the same thing. Although I actually really like the way rune arcs work in this game. I like that they activate the great rune you have equipped. I think that's very cool. Okay. I was just checking to make sure there's no treasure over there. I do believe there's a couple more rats. Right. Okay. Great. Level, level 7 smithing stone. Go up the ladder. And effectively what we're doing is we're, we're actually doing a loop. This is the rooftop where the archer was, so we're, we've are we already been here. All right, now this guy, I'm going to show you something funny. Well, it's not funny. It's actually terrifying, but... Hello! <laughs> I love it. I love that he could do that. I mean, it's it's absolutely terrifying, but I love it. Oh, I might be dead. Yeah. I actually recommend doing it that way because then you get to fight him in a square surface instead of like this tiny narrow bridgeway, you know? But that's just me. You fight him where you want. So you get the Cerulean Amber Medallion plus one, which is always helpful. And then I'm just trying to find a safe way down real quick. It could just be jumping. Yeah. I don't know. That looks kind of far. I'm, I'm going to be safe. Let's just be safe. All right, so this room here is a bit interesting. There is an alarm up here, one of these albino, albinoric guys. He's up there, so you want to turn him off. This way he doesn't alert everybody. But, oh, no, 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 no. 
without fail, I always forget to change from my talisman to my shield. Every single time. I literally, I cannot be helped. Oh, wow. That was, that was good for you. Good for you, buddy. Way to go, team. Okay. Well, believe it or not, they, they would have come after me regardless of the alarm. Okay. And then there's another alarm, believe it or not. He's just chilling up there. Look at him. Standing there menacingly. Cool. So now that the alarms are disabled, you won't have to worry about all the ghost phantom guys that get uh, summoned. That right there is the boss fog for Commander Nile. We will get to him soon. And in case you're wondering, like, what is the point of this place? Why should I bother doing all this? The prize at the end of this um, little dungeon here the prize is the other half of the Halig Tree Medallion, which allows you to visit another area and send the Lift of Rolled to another place. And the Lift of Rolled is what you took to get from the Forbidden Lands, which connected Dell to the mountaintops of the Giants. I mean, that was a long statement, but that's, uh, that's what it was. All right, so unfortunately, unfortunately, Mr. Halbert over there. Oh, God. Wow. I don't know how that just happened. Hey, okay, see you later. Unfortunately, Mr. Halbert over here, he, you can aggro the dogs however you like. He's going to, he's going to join in the fun. Luckily, though, not really much of a match for my greatsword. Oh, pulleys. Ooh. Ah, that was a greedy, greedy R1 right there. I will, I will never tell you. I'll never lie to you and say something wasn't greedy. That was a greedy hit. I know our friend is down there waiting for us. Is there nothing up here? Oh no, there it is. You get a stone sword key, always helpful. Okay. All right, so uh, we still have one little section unexplored. Where's the wolf? I just really don't want this wolf to jump me when I land. I guess we'll find it soon enough. Or he'll find us. I'm just I'm gonna quickly look for this thing. Alright. He's gonna surprise us, I know that. Okay, so we activated the elevator before, and it goes down here, so this acts as a shortcut now which is very helpful. However, we're not really even going to use the shortcut when fighting the boss. It takes longer to uh, to use it than not. But jumping down here, we now have... Oh, God. Oh, I thought it was a rat. Slugs, I don't mind at all. Slugs are easy enough. Anyway, jumping down, we now have access to the area that uh, we skipped earlier. Okay. Okay. We get a nascent butterfly, and then we can climb up here. Now we're going to make our way to the painting that we saw earlier. Painting is in this building right here, so we're going to get there soon enough. Oh. 
I don't know what button I just hit. Gotta back up. And it's, oh, of course they go through the wall. Oh my god, dude. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Mr. Ballista. Oh, God. Oh, I'm totally screwed. Okay. Well, hold, please. <laughs> I don't even have mana to cast heal. Okay. Um, well. Hmm. We may be taking a death here and just recovering our runes. I really had no idea when he was going to fire. I didn't even know if he had loaded it yet. Quite all right, though. Very easy to get back to there. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to go back to the entrance. It's going to be a lot faster. reason we're doing this is because all we have to contend with now is a bird and a couple wolves. How do you get that treasure? I don't think I ever noticed that. Okay, that's easy enough. Just thanks to the church. Hello? There we go. Oh, God. Oh, my. Dude, what is this camera doing right now? I thought I was targeting, but I just wasn't. Okay, let's, let's start this up again here. Oh, almost jumped into that. Great. The worst enemies in the game. <laughs> I hate those things. It'd be fine if the camera wasn't just like such a mess in these games. The the camera is always the biggest enemy. Okay, now just to be really safe, because when I come out of this door, I don't want to get jumped by a wolf. Great job. Okay. Cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump down. You know, I guess we could have just taken the other staircase. I always forget about that staircase over there. Okay. Alrighty. And we're back up here. Wonderful. Right, now don't forget that we have guys throwing things. We have him. We have infinite poise? What is this? There we go. Alright. I'm actually going to duck over here to see if I can bring up my crafting menu. And then I'm going to... Craft some arrows. Alright. Let's try this instead. Alright, so unfortunately this is giving me heavy load, but I think it's worth it. Oh my goodness. All right. Great. So now we definitely have to drop this. 
So I have medium roll again. And we're gonna get a shield going. Let this guy rip. Alright, we're good. <gasps> Where? Oh, dude. I don't know why I just started punching him. Oh, that was sweet. Went right under it. Alright, just be careful when coming up here. I was afraid there was something else up here with him. Hello. That was weird. Okay. Don't forget this. And then I don't believe there's anything else over here. Oh, yes there is. Okay, let me do this real quick. Just for efficiency's sake. We're gonna act we're gonna open this door. Okay. Get the sorcerer painting. Open the door. Come up here. And then we're going to grab that treasure where the eagle was. And then I'm going to very quickly show you where to solve that puzzle. And then we're going to fight the boss. Stormhawk axe. All right, so once you have that, let's go back to the Snow Valley Ruins Overlook side of Grace. And then I'll show you what to do with this. So I am going to kill something that you don't have to kill. And I actually want to ask a question that I, I don't know the answer to this, but there is a big skeleton buddy over here that gets summoned, even if the Tibia Mariner nearby is dead. I don't understand why that happens. Because when you kill him, he doesn't reward any runes. So, yeah, I, I don't get it. I would love to know, like, why this guy exists. And maybe if there's another Tibia Mariner nearby. But I don't think there is because... Um, anyway, the reason I don't think there is is because when you come over here, even after killing, you know, the Tibia Mariner, it does not say Death Root nearby, or the the Eye Quivers or whatever. You don't get your alert. All right, let me just back up and I'll reset this guy. If you back up far enough, he'll just do the beam, and then you can just whack him. There we go. Hello. Alright, cool. So the painting solution is on this bridge right here. So this is the sorcerer painting. Great, and you get the great hood. Okay, so back to... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Back to Castle Soul. Go to the Church of the Eclipse side of Grace, and now we're going to fight the boss. There was a treasure over here, though, that I don't actually know how to get. Actually, let me rest and use my runes, because I do have a lot. trying to use some specific incantations, so I, I need the, uh, need the arcane. Oh, hey, good for you. How the hell do you get that? Up and around? I 
I never got this treasure before. I'm a little confused. Ah. Hopefully I don't die in the process of getting this. That wouldn't be fun. Oh, okay. That was actually pretty decent. That's a decent treasure. Level 8 somber smithing stone? That's pretty hard to come by. Right, I'm just trying to drop aggro, and then I'll warp back to the church. Though I have a feeling Sam Eagle over there is trying to murder me. Okay. So the boss here is Commander Nile, and I'm going to be really honest with you. He's very hard. Uh, I feel very lucky in that I get to use a greatsword, because that allows me to quickly dispatch... Um, I know the alarm is going to go off. Oh, God. It allows me to quickly dispatch uh, his adds, whereas you may not have that luxury. If you do not have the luxury of an Ultra Great Sword, or I don't know if that's a classification in this game, but a really big weapon. If you do not have that luxury, then what I suggest doing is just trying to kite out the adds. Do you recommend hitting this one one time? Oh, God. This is bad. Yep. Didn't want that to happen. All right. So you want to take the one with the swords out first. Reason being, because he can obviously do the most damage the quickest. However, the guy with the shield is no slouch. And you don't want to put yourself in a corner. The guy with the shield is no slouch. Okay. Commander Nile can buff your friends. If they have a red buff, they get additional attack power. If they have a silver buff, sort of like a shield, that means they have additional defense. Okay. Once one of them goes down, you're now going to fight Commander Nile. He has a foot that he can use to harm you and those you love. And he can even do it in your face, just like that. Oh my god. I actually forgot to do something. I completely forgot to use a rune arc. I always rune arc at the start of phase one of this fight. I don't know how this is going to go. He may hit me out of this. He sure did. I'm going to try to back up one more time and do that. It's, like, really hard to get a rune arc off on this guy in his face. Okay. All right. Cool. So when he jumps, you want to jump. However, he can hit you with the butt of his standard. He can be parried. That's quite difficult as well, though. Luckily, his standard is... Oh, God. Luckily, his standard is slow. But it doesn't mean that you can just, like, ignore him. The nice part about this fight is that there's only one phase. Well, I guess technically two, but once you kill the adds, there's no more adds. And he just has all the abilities he has. That's it. Oh, wow, dude. He can be parried. I'll try it one more time. Ow. <sighs> oh, wow. All right. I'll give it one more try. Let's try it again. To be fair, that was a little sloppy. I was surprised that we even got that far. <laughs> Rune arcing in that guy's face cost me several flasks. It only cost me one the first time, but getting away from him, rune arcing, and then taking a hit after that was just bad. All right. Cool. So same strategy. We just got to remember to use the rune arc. So 
Just whack this guy once, then back up, because you don't want the boss coming after you. All right. While you are in a backstab, you always want to pay attention. Yep, that's why. Always want to pay attention to what's going on. Dude. That's one. Okay, buddy. All right. No. The sometimes the boss can like get involved. And you really don't want that. No, I might be dead. Oh, no. Cool. We got it. Man, this, this is already all, all over the place. This fight's a mess. I know that was a pretty inefficient heal there, but he's just able to do so much damage with that lightning foot. Wow. He's just able to do so much damage with the lightning foot that he really just like don't want to get caught by it. That right there, when he puts the standard back down... That's like the worst one. So this is a big attack combo that's coming. Pay close attention to him. After he does that though, he is like unbelievably exposed. So you can just lay into him, but don't drain all of your stamina. Uh oh. Yeah, don't drain all of your stamina because you may need to get away to heal, just like I did. Oh my god. Whew. There we go. Parrying doesn't do... Like, the Riposte doesn't do a ton of damage to him. He does have a lot of armor. Like, he's wearing a lot of armor, so... Parrying, it, it's doable, but it's not going to give you, like, the biggest reward. Which is fine. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to let my stamina restore. I'm Ow, dude, leave me alone. So you saw I dodged late there. And he can also, like, hit you with the butt of the standard really late. Like, he, he could sort of not do, like, a backstab, but, like, he protects his back. Like that. And then he can follow that up with a bigger swing. All right. You can always roll for the jump. <laughs> that was really stupid. <laughs> I don't know why I tried that. Yo! Damn. Okay, I'm, I'm, just gonna, I'm healing up to full. I don't like being less than full against this guy, even with an active rune arc. That's why. Like, that attack just sucks. It's so hard to, like, accurately dodge. For me, at least. Mm. All right, I'm, again, I'm healing back to full. I don't care. Oh my god. I can't I can't stand it.
<laughs> oh my god. We got him. We got him. That's it. That's Commander Nile. I'm really glad I was able to do all this in one video. Because this guy took me like an hour my first time through. So I'm really, really glad I was able to do that on video. Really happy about that. Okay, so Commander Nile does spawn a Side of Grace, which we can, of course, rest at. And if you're able to, get a level. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the thing that we came here for. And that is the Halig Tree or Halig Tree Medallion. So we can take this lift up to the top of the castle. And then there will be a corpse with a treasure waiting for us. Yeah, the, the whole strategy for that fight is just slow and steady. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. You'll get him. So we can speak with this ghost. It says, Lord Makilla, forgive me. The sun has not been swallowed. Our prayers were lacking. Your comrade remains soulless. I will never set my eyes upon it now. Your divine Halig tree. There you go. The Halig Tree Secret Medallion left side. So, if you visited the village of the Albanorix back in Lyernia of the Lakes, you should have both halves, which is the Halig Tree Secret Medallion left and right. And then, if you were to visit Lord Gideon, uh, the All-Knowing, back in Roundtable Hold and tell him that you have both pieces, he'll give you a little bit of story. But that's it. That is Castle Soul. I uh, hope this has been helpful to you. It is a challenging little mini dungeon up here in the mountains. Again, it's here on the map in case you haven't been here already. Uh, the, the trek here is guarded um, by a tibia mariner, which is easy to kill. And then also a death right bird, which is difficult to kill. Um, like I said earlier, this is my second time through this area because I, I rolled back my save because I messed something up. Um, and I had to redo this whole mountain area. And um, I had to fight that death right bird again, and it took me 17 attempts. So, you know, it is a death bird, but it does a lot of crazy stuff. So good luck. Um, but Commander Nile is is a very difficult boss. Um, I don't envy anybody who has to fight him, but just take it easy, one step at a time, and and you'll you'll get him eventually. But that's it. That's the walkthrough. All right. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Elden Ring, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll speak Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.